A coronary artery calcium scoring test has proven to be a reliable test that measures the amount of atherosclerotic plaque in the coronary arteries. Dr. Sunil Ram of Scottsdale Medical Imaging in Scottsdale, Arizona discusses the test and whether you're at risk of a heart attack. Calcium score CTs have been performed for a number of years now. The main purpose of a screening calcium score CT is to identify people who are at risk for coronary disease. It allows us to directly look at the coronary arteries and to assess the level of coronary artery disease that's present. We asked Dr. Rom, what if the test shows blockage in the coronary artery? And it doesn't actually show the extent of blockage. What it does is it shows the extent of plaque, of calcified plaque. And based on the amount of hard calcified plaque that we have in the blood vessel, we can extrapolate the likelihood of this patient having a blockage. And how is the test performed? The patients will come in and they lay on a CT scanner and they hold their breath. We put EKG probes on them and it takes about five to eight seconds. It's a very quick test. Um, the amount of radiation is an important uh, concern. Uh, we limit the amount of radiation uh, that uh, the patients have. It usually uh, amounts to about five to ten chest x-rays. We wondered what the calcium score tells the physician. The calcium score tells you exactly how much atherosclerotic plaque, calcified plaque, you have in your blood vessels. And what we do once you have a calcium score um, that's assigned to you, then based on your age and your sex, we will determine how you fall relative to all the other people that are in the database. So essentially, we would uh, expect somebody who is a 50-year-old woman to have much less calcium than a 80-year-old man who smokes uh, because they're at a much higher risk for coronary disease. Uh, the important thing is identifying somebody who is at a relatively younger age who has coronary artery disease so we can treat them effectively before they actually start to get symptoms. Dr. Rahm told us who should consider this test. This is a screening test that is ideally suited for people who are at risk for coronary disease. So it is not for everyone, but it's for people who have either diabetes or hypertension, who have a family history of heart disease uh, or obesity uh, or, hyper or high cholesterol. All of those uh, risk factors are important uh, for getting a calcium score CT. Generally, patients are 40 years old or over. Once patients have a calcium score, we'll decide how they fall relative to other people their age. And if they are outliers, if they have more calcium than would be expected for somebody of their age, then we will look at risk factor modification, specifically either um, stopping smoking, uh, losing weight, as well as uh, uh, control of uh, better control of diabetes, of hypertension, and of uh, cholesterol. The real benefit is once people have been identified who have calcium, especially at a younger age, you can start treating these people aggressively. People who are in their 40s who ordinarily may have not necessarily considered going on a cholesterol-lowering medication, once they realize that they do have calcium in their blood vessels, can go ahead and, uh, and take medication like that knowing that they are treating a disease that is actively occurring in their body.